In this video, I am going to work out the first couple problems in this law of sines maze. Let's start with this problem right here. Actually, first off, let me just state what the law of sines is. The sine of angle A divided by side A is going to equal the sine of angle B divided by side B. Now when I say um, angle A and then side A, I'm talking about this. If I have some random triangle, and uh, let's say this was triangle A, B, C, side A is always across from angle A, uppercase, lowercase. Side B is always across from angle B, and side C is always across from angle C. So when I say side, uh, when I say sine A over A, I'm talking about the sine of an angle divided by the opposite side. And uh, one more, so of course that's going to equal sine of angle C divided by the opposite side C. All right, let's number these problems as we go so we can see which work goes with which problem. So I'm going to go ahead and call this problem number one. And um, I'm looking for side x, which of course is across from the angle that is 76. So according to the law, the law of sines, the sine of the angle, 76, divided by the side that's across from it, which is x, should equal the sine of another angle div divided by the side that's across from it. So I'm going to say the sine of 38 divided by 15. This is always so hard for me to see. Um, so I'm going to say the sine of 38 divided by was that again? Uh, 15. So x is our only unknown, so we should be able to easily solve this by cross multiplying. So x times the sine of 38, okay, looking at this diagonal, should equal 15 times the sine of 76. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 38 to get x, uh, sorry, I'm going to divide both sides by sine 38 to get x by itself. So if I do that, it's going to look like this. Okay, so these are going to cancel each other out, and that's just going to leave x. So that means x should equal this. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in my calculator. Um, I need a fraction, so I'm going to hit, I think I can hit alpha and then the y equals key and enter. And that makes a fraction. So I hit alpha, y equal, the y equals key and enter, and I've got my fraction ready. So I'm going to type in 15 sine 76 over sine 38. So 15 sine 76 um, divided by sine 38. And you know what? I should make sure that I am in degree mode. Up, ah, see that? I'm in radian mode. That's no good. Make sure you're in degree mode. Hit the mode button, come down here, and uh, we need to be in degrees right now. So I'm going to hit enter. And now I'll go back. So I've got 23.6. I'm going to round to the nearest tenth. Um, so there you go. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the maze. And of course we see that uh, 
is taking us over here to the left. So this is our path, and uh, we should highlight that in some way. So I'm going to use my highlighter to indicate that we are moving in this direction from here. Okay, so as we move in this direction, and I'm just going to do one more problem, and I'll leave you to do the rest. Um, but let's go ahead and call this now problem number two. We are looking for x, and that is across from the 29 degrees. So let's start with that. Sine of 29 over x. That will be our first fraction. Okay, and uh, you know what? I should have numbered this problem number one when I did it a moment ago, and I forgot to. So I'll number it now, and now this will be problem number two. Okay, so we're going to have sine of um, sine of 29 over x will be our first thing. All right, now we'll look and see what else we have. So I have 135 degrees across from 52. So that's going to equal the sine of 135 degrees over 52. And once again, I will cross multiply in order to solve for x. So that's going to look like this. Um, x times the sine of 135 should equal 52 times the sine of 29 degrees. To get x by itself, I am going to divide. So I'm going to divide both sides by sine 135. All right, that way these are going to cancel each other out. And that should give me the final answer. So I'm just going to put this in my calculator. Okay, so I need 52 sine 29. And again, if I hit alpha y equals and enter, I get the fraction. So I have 52 sine of 29. And that's going to be over sine of 135 degrees. So sine uh, 135 degrees. So that is 35.7. I'm going to round up 35.7. OK. So let's look at the maze and see where that leads us. All right, 35.7 I can see is heading down. So I'm going to take my highlighter and highlight this. All right. And so obviously if you do something horribly wrong, you're going to get some random answer that's probably not even one of these choices. So right away you're going to know you made a mistake. And um, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here because I think you get the idea. But um, of course, we would then call this problem number three. And I would come over here to show my work. And I would put uh, problem number three. And I would show my work and keep going. So that's how you do this. And that is how you use the law of signs uh, to find a missing side. And it would work exactly the same way if I needed to find a missing angle.